the next step is to create a Firebase console project. So head over to console.firebase.google.com and create a new project. I'm going to name my notify and press continue. You can connect your app with Google Analytics if you want to, but for this project, I'm going to uncheck this option and click on create project. It is automatically going to redirect you to the project dashboard and you can see that our project has been created. Click on the project and you will see the dashboard screen again. Click on Android icon to register your app for Android platform. The first field to enter is Android package name. And if you have an Android package name, copy it from the app.json file. If you don't have the package name, you can create one. Head over to app.json. Under the Android parenthesis, write package and you can name it anything you want. Just remember that it should follow this format. You can provide a nickname. I'm going to be consistent and name it Notify. Click on Register App. Download the Google service JSON file and place it in the root directory of your project. Now add the path of this Google service file into your app.json Android body. Click on next, ignore all other steps for now. Click on next again, and then press continue to the console. Now in your Firebase project console, click on project overview and project settings. Then click on cloud messaging, where you will see the cloud messaging API, it has been disabled. So let's enable it. Click on the three dots, then click on manage API, this will open console.cloud.google from where we can enable our two APIs for this project. Click enable right below the cloud messaging. Make sure the right project is selected inside the Google Cloud platform. Once it has been enabled, click on Enable APIs and Services on the left tab. Then click on Enable API. Search for Firebase Installation API and it should be enabled by default. If not, then you should enable it. Go back to the cloud messaging page, reload the page, and it should be enabled now. Open the Google service JSON file. Make sure that the current key under the API key property is same as that in the Google console. You can check the Google console API key by clicking on the credentials. Here you can see the Android key is generated automatically by Firebase. Click on show key and match this key with the one in the Google services file. 
reload the app so we can check that after all these configurations our app is still working and here you go it's working just like before Once again, we are going to check from the external server. So open export.dev slash notifications, enter your message and send a notification. And there you'll see on the right emulator that our notification has been updated through an external server.